Hello runners, my name is Chris and today we are going to review and talk about my current favorite running shoe, the Brooks Ghost. So there's a few things I like about this shoe. The first is the width. It's got kind of a wide base, which is nice for me because I have kind of wide feet. Back in high school, I used to get some wide shoes, but I kind of just find shoes that work for me a little better without needing that these days. There's sometimes when I try on shoes and it's like my feet feel like they're spilling over the edge of the shoe. I don't like that feeling. So the wide base of the Ghost um, definitely feels really nice for me and I quite enjoy that. So the other thing, speaking of the kind of base is the rubber um, or the, the sole of the shoe. It is very firm. You can see I, I don't I don't mess up my shoes, you know. These guys, they are pretty thick. There's, there's not much squish to the rubber. So I've tried the Hoka's. They are kind of like a lot more bouncy. Cloud feeling, I guess, is, is the way to describe it. I do like the firmness, just kind of like hitting the ground. So if you're looking for a firm shoe, I think this is the this is the way to go. Let's talk about shoestrings because uh, I feel like that's a that's an under-talked about category in shoes sometimes. And I really like the, sh the strings. Um, so they're pretty thin here. So it's kind of like the flat cloth. They, they flop around. I like that. Um, you're not like got those, those big bulky ones. I don't know what the standard shoestring is these days because uh, I, I kind of just bought like a bunch of the Brooks. I tried it. I liked it. I bought a bunch of them. So they are a really nice length too. Sometimes you get running shoes, you tie them up and the, the you know, your shoelaces are all flopping all over the place. You got to get a little clip or something or something to keep them keep them in line you know what i'm saying but don't have that problem with the ghost so i quite like that one thing that happened to me is i have to try out these old shoes uh, i stopped i stopped using them because i feel like it was wearing and we'll talk about the durability like how long they last later i was starting to get some pain some ankle pain and um just it's like okay it's time for new shoes i don't want to deal with like shin splint any kind of feeling as well because i'm a I supinate so i go outside in right so i get that wearing on the outside of the shoe. so i got some new shoes so i got these ones. i got i just got new brooks <laughs> so i was still like feeling a little bit of it when i got the new shoes so i was like am i just like tying my shoelaces too tight or something so I, I started to tie them a little looser and i felt like that worked so i might try these guys out again with just not like cinching up my feet real tight and stuff um, but I, they definitely have more wear, so we'll kind of see how that goes. So one last thing to talk about as well is durability, because I had these guys for about six months, and I liked them so much, I bought two more. I was wearing them, running in them every other day, so maybe around uh, 10 to 15 miles a week, which puts us at, what, 30, 60 miles a month, with six months is what? is like 360-ish miles, so I feel like that's pretty good. I don't really track my miles that much, but that seems like a pretty solid amount of mileage, and I got these guys. So one thing I do like to do is why I got two of them is I'll alternate them. So if I'm running every day, you know, I get these guys for one day, these guys the next day. It gives the shoe a little bit of time to relax. It's kind of what I was told in high school. It keeps them a little bit alive, a little bit longer than if you just pound on them every single day. You know, shoes need to relax too. They need the shoe spa day every once in a while, okay? Okay? So durability, I'm pretty happy with. I expect these two pairs to last me another six-ish months before I start feeling a little weird in them. And then they got to go. We got to get some new shoes and all that good jazz. And then finally, the last thing that I want to talk about is colors, because sometimes, you know, you know, shoes is one of the ways us runners express ourselves, and I am boring, man. Look, I mean, you saw it, right? These are like the same shoe, but I was like, I only got the yellow highlights because I need to, <laughs> I need to tell my new shoe apart from my old shoe, because I'm not quite ready to throw it away yet. Like I mentioned earlier, I might try to run it again. So I tried to get a little bit exciting on my, my other shoe. So yeah. Yeah, my old Brooks ran out and I got two new Brooks. That's right, that's right. So I got this one. This is fun, right? This is exciting. I kind of like it, but most of the colors, they're pretty tame. They're not like all over the place. Like this is like the most neon one that I remember. So yeah, I kind of like the kind of just standard patterns that it comes with. So that's it for my review discussion, whatever you want to call it about the Brooks Ghost. This one specifically is the 14. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, maybe you got something useful out of it. Maybe you'll try the Brooks Ghost. Let me know if you got shoes similar to the Brooks Ghost. If you have any other shoes that you think that you would like me to try or talk about, definitely let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. And until next time, have a wonderful day and keep on running.